Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Linda and I share videos about sewing on this channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this fabric applique. Now if this seems like what you're interested in, you might want to take a pause and subscribe so that we can dive into the main video. Thank you guys as you do so. So guys, for the purpose of this tutorial, I had a leftover fabric which was lying around and the first thing I did was to cut out this little little petals here, just like you see me doing. So just go ahead and cut it out nicely. So this is what I have for my own part after I was done. So the next thing that I'll be doing right now is just to go ahead and match it up like this with the wrong side facing each other. And this is what it's going to look like when you are done cutting. The next thing I did was to check them out one after the other to check if they are perfectly cut out and then check out the number of appliques I'll be making for that. The next thing I did was to bring out my crinoline mesh net and this is what I'll be using to interface the appliques. It is sold from 1000 to 1500 in the Nigerian market. So guys, I went ahead to place it on my work table with the pieces underneath and I also didn't forget to make use of my hemming gum. So this is how it's going to look like when you are done. And now the first thing I'll be doing is to place my hemming gum on top of this mesh net and then I'll be placing one of the petals right above it. And then I'll just go ahead and secure it with my iron or better still, I'll just laminate it together with this crinoline mesh net. Remember to place a fabric right on top of it when pressing it because you don't want your iron to burn it and then cause a havoc on your fabric and also cause some things on your iron. So this is how it looks like after I was done and I'm just going to cut it out for you guys to see. You can also choose to cut this out with your scissors or better still you go ahead and make use of your soldering iron. That is if you have one but I prefer making use of my scissors because it makes my work a little bit fast. So guys, after trimming out the excesses, this is what I have. I'll just go ahead and also add another layer of hemming gum. Just make sure to distribute the hemming gum nicely. Make sure you're covering all parts of the petal, okay? After you're done layering your hemming gum, just go ahead and attach your petal, just like you see me doing, and also press it very nicely. Make sure you're making use of a thin press iron. This will help it glue faster. So this is what it looks like after I was done. I hope you can see it very clearly. And then I'll head over to do the rest of camera. So guys, after I was done trimming everything out evenly, I went ahead to also attach my hemming gum right on top of them, just like I did for the first one. And then I'll also go ahead and place the remaining set of petals right on top of it and glue them together. So guys, after I was done gluing everything together, the essential thing I did was to cut out the little little pieces that was picking out by the side, just like more of trimming it out. This is because I want it to look smooth all around the corners and I'm just arranging it the way I want it to look like on the dress I'm working on. Or you can better still go ahead and stitch this point below where I am pressing together. Just go ahead and run a little stitch at the bottom like this. There you have it. This is how your petal is going to look like after you are done stitching them individually. So guys, I am done stitching the lower parts and this is how it looks like. Now, if your fabric is fraying, just get a lighter and burn all around the corners to secure them up. After that, the next thing you're going to do is to place them together like this. You can pin them down or you can attach them individually on the dress you wish to attach it to. You can go ahead and attach it individually or even in twos or in threes. 
just play around with it till you get your desired look when you feel that you have achieved what you are looking for then you can just stitch it down with a hand needle and there you have it your fabric applique is ready this will change the look of your dress just by attaching it on the right places if you are yet to subscribe what are you waiting for bikonu subscribe to my channel thank you back to business so guys i went ahead to attach a little bit of design which is the green colored stones you are seeing there just to spice it up with that being said we have come to the end of the video i'll see you guys next time bye